Oh yes, fam. This is my cakey sarin cake. Let me give you a close up of the color. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you yet another sour cake recipe. I have a sour cake recipe that I uploaded, and if you do your YouTube search, you I think it's it's maybe a few days from five years. YouTube search is saying four years, but in a few days it will be five years. That was the first and only one I did upload. That was like a more like on the culinary side. I didn't perfect that recipe. Just came off my head and I did it and I put it up there. It's over 100,000 views so you can go check that one out. I did it with no preservatives. I did it with no additives, no food coloring. Yet I'm going to give you another one with no preservatives, no additives, no food coloring. And this one will be on the cakey side. So I have here four eggs it's a small cake so you could use three these are really small so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get my eggs all whipped out so first my eggs have come together I have here some castor sugar which is just half a cup castor sugar castor white sugar because they have brown castor sugar so with my machine running i'm gonna be putting it in so i just want to be putting it in like this to have it have a good mix and you're gonna be doing it on probably about two to three speed on the kitchen mail. So that's the last of my castor sugar in there. Now I'm going to be trickling in some half a cup of canola oil. I'm just going to be pouring it in, trickling it in. So inside put it in this thing with this spout. in and this is half of a teaspoon of white over from which is totally totally optional I'm gonna bring my mixer up a bit and I'm gonna whisk it out that should be fine so this is what you want this is how you want it looking now I'm going to be going to prepare my dry ingredients. Oh, by the way, I'm making a small cake. This is a 7-inch pan that I'm using. So, right here, I got me my flour. I got me baking powder, baking soda, and my salt right in. I'm going to be putting in some nutmeg maize, the powder. Yeah. And I'm not going to be using any cinnamon powder. So that is about. If you want to put cinnamon powder, you can go ahead. Oven just preheated there. I'm going to be mixing this around a bit. And I'm going to be sifting, sifting it this out two times. I want to get some hair trap into this. one and this is another one this is two wow. so guys I did not remember to put in my vanilla so I had to go whisking my vanilla so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like the liquid so I'm going to be putting in my flour in small portions. And I'm going to be putting it like this. I'm not going to be putting in a lot. 
you know I'm just gonna gently fold it in I'm not gonna be doing this like that rigorous cut and fold I'm just gonna be folding in my flour cuz you saw me I sifted it out two times and I'm using all-purpose flour you could use cake flour if you use cake flour or pastry flour you maybe need to just sift it one time so I'm gonna continue now put in like a spoon at a time and I'm just gonna be sprinkling it over and this is how I'll be doing it until all my dry mixture is incorporated I'll return so this is my mixture you see the texture this is the texture you want you see that okay light 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 look at it again this is the texture you want now let us come to the sorrel I'm using here sorrel paste and I wanted to see what it looks like so no food coloring I did it in this for you to see something white so I'm gonna fold in about two tablespoons of this sorrel paste and then we are gonna see how it goes gently you don't give this thing too much harshness and look as look at how it will transform the mixture yes you see that yes so I put in a little more fan so I'm still folding it in and you see the silkiness of this mixture this is what you want now this is the natural color that the sorry I'm still yet to fold in a little more you see the silkiness of this mixture yes this is how you want your mixture to look gonna fold in and let everything get amalgamated some more and then we are gonna come our oven has been preheated it's not a hard cake to put together so our oven has been preheated oh fam I don't know what is happening today so I'm putting in one teaspoon of ginger powder not grated ginger or ginger juice you will spoil this thing I am telling you I don't know what's happening today but listen to me we did taste off camera let's try to fold in this I hope I don't over mix this should have gone in with the dry ingredients and it was right here before me I don't know but look here Wow so let us fold it in good and my pan is here your pan must be greased and lined to the sides whether with parchment or you must use wax let me tell you the taste of this thing is to die for let us pour it out now in our container look at it this is how you want it looking that it was it was the sorrel paste that's transformed it, it into this silky silky texture this is delicate the texture of this cake is delicate so it should come out eating with a delicate taste so this is it we're gonna get every last bit of this thing out it looks too pretty look at it I hope you're on to it Cobb so they can see the delicacy of this this is natural sorrel. You can see that that was natural, natural sorrel. You ought to know when you have color in your sorrel different. You know this is a natural color. So you can modify this recipe and get it into sponge cakes and other cakes. But that will be totally up to you. This took a lot out of me. But you don't... Just give it a gently, gentle little thing. Three quarters of a way up, 350 in here for about one hour and 10 minutes. We're not have to turn nothing because guess what? Just eat, in alo eat alone in the oven. I'll catch you. Okay, now fam, so my cake is out of the oven, pretty hot. So I wanna make sure that it's not stuck so I'm gonna start but I'm gonna invert it yep. and this is it this is what I'm gonna put it on my plate now Oops. and this is what it looks like I'm gonna let it stay and cool down 
on the wire rack without I'm gonna let we have some cracks but I'll have to figure out this is not a cake that you can wet this is not a cake for wetting so I can't wet it so I'll just let it cool down properly and then I'll come back to cutting it and show you a piece of it so it says cool down somewhat fam so we can see here that <laughs> my paper it wasn't um, accurate the paper wasn't accurate so I'm gonna take a slice from the middle my paper never accurate come I have to grease the sides at the pan and I also had to grease the bottom now this is the cake you see this look at this this is what it looks like so you can go to the other one that I did and you will realize that they are the same color because there's no food coloring in them this is what it looks like we just add a little crack that was just it and you can see all through this is what a cake a, a sorry cake without let me show you on the inside here too you see that so this is my cakey sorry cake i hope you did enjoy this can be modified and turned into a sponge cake but i will work on that thanks for the love thanks for the support i catch you again with another video but i want to taste for you oh so yes fam this is my cakey sorry cake let me give you a close-up of the color yeah, this is what the sorry looks like. Natural sorry. It's not cool enough. I just cool it to be like that. Wow. Mm. You see this? This is so good. Remember this cake is a warm cake. It's not cold as yet. This is not anything that you wet with any rum or any wine or anything. It's just a sorry cakey cake. Thanks for watching.